Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Time for some early season action from the high-powered offenses in the Big 12. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Texas A&M's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And they get nice yardage on that run. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Nice run up the middle. He fights forward to about the 49. They come out on an empty backfield. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down at the 44. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. And this play is number eight on the drive. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And he's hit immediately. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throws it in a hurry. Inside the 10, and down he goes. Around the six-yard line. Why can't they stop that play, Kirk? I don't know. It's not like they haven't seen it before. They've run that play twice in a row, and that time, it worked to perfection. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down right around the four-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. It's second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Good throw. Caught. Touchdown. Stepped up 
and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. He makes the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Commodores were ranked number 23. A tough, solid performance, but still a loss. Will they be able to stay in the poll? An old coach once said, if you don't think every game's important, just try losing one. Apparently, this team believed it. They tried, and they lost. A major upset is now in the book. The Blazers finish on top, 21-20. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Bryant has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Brought down the 37-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. He's at the 40, and that one's incomplete. So the Aggies lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. He's under pressure. Fires it out. Tackle made at the 40. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. First and ten. Ball on the 40. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Shoved out of bounds right around the six-yard line. First and goal and a touchdown ties it, folks. Tackle. Number 29 makes the tackle at the three yard line. That brings him second and goal. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Fires quickly and they got it. Touchdown. mismatch and exploited it for the score. If you're right, the tight end had that one all the way and there wasn't much the defense could do. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven play, 63 yard drive and they put up seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. SMU lines up for the kickoff. Robinson from the three. 
He's tackled at the 27. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying to... Fumble! Loose ball! So the ball will change hands, and that'll be first down. This guy is about as sure-handed as they come, but fumbles do happen. And you can chalk this turnover up to a very aggressive defense. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Make the stop around the 49-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. He's at the 40. Brought down around the 31-yard line. That's a game of 20. First down. run and he's brought down gain of seven yards that'll bring up second and three This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Out to the halfback, open, and he can't pull it in. the catch and look out he's tackled at the 16 yard line Gain of eight yards. we played one quarter we're even at seven in this one welcome back tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play Around the 13 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. And he's tackled around the three yard line. That's a game of 10. That makes it first and goal. Now he's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. It's the PAT, a nine-play, 63-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. 
Rodgers has it at the five. Tackle at the 26. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he's got all the time in the world. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50. Three down, three down. Watch 36, 36 tonight. Big release, tight end, incomplete. And I think this offense right now is starting to think twice about making catches. That's another big hit by this defense. And right now, they are laying the wood and giving the tight end and these receivers something to think about. Throws incomplete. Yeah, anytime a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. Zips it left. Almost picked off. Picks breaks it up. That'll make it fourth and ten. ten. Bird awaits the snap. He takes it at the twelve. Tackle made at the twenty-eight. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas A&M up seven points. Nice run there. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 38. Nice gain as he works the right side. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Larry, Larry, Larry! My five! I got one, I got one! Yeah! Hey, 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 look back, look back! Shoot! 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 Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. That'll make it second and seven. Gains his way to the 43 yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Check 13. Check 13. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Kill, 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 kill. No, no, no. Check, check. No, no, no. Steps out of bounds around the 41 yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 41 yard line. Second down. Texas AM is up by a touchdown. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 30. Gets out to around the 22. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Run, run, run. 
up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And once again, they'll come to the line, trying to convert on third down. The quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Zips it to the tailback, incomplete. Texas A&M is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up, and it's good. <laughs> Bryant is lined up to kick this one off. Peterson takes it at the 16. Nothing much on the return there. Not much is right. That coverage was all over him. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Hey, watch the ball. Watch the ball. Mike 36. Mike 36. He steps out at about the 23 yard line. Howard picks him up about three yards with the catch. It's second and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 35. That makes it first and ten. tailback and he's taken down at the 39 they pick up at the most four yards on the screenplay they executed the screenplay well here by getting the ball to the halfback they pick up some yards second and six coming up here ball on the 39 yard line and he throws it away Great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. Texas A&M's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Harvey. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So there's still a lot of football to be played. Tailback picks up a good-looking 10 yards on the draw. Texas A&M's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He scrambled. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. First down. Alert cat, alert cat. Check four, check four. Now, no eight, no. He's going to try and scramble. Looks like he's going to run. And down he goes at the 30. And he's tackled right away. Kirby with the tackle at the 20 yard line. That will make it second and inches. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Big play, and it's first and goal. 
That makes it first and goal. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring him down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Pass incomplete. Try to get it to his receiver. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Scrambling around. Dives for extra yardage. Well, we've played a half of football. So the Aggies with a 10-point lead. David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He'll take it from the two. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Texas A&M's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Get to that quick, and it's going the other way. Tackle made at the 35-yard line, and that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Fires it out. He scores. What a play. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line. First down. To that quickly. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any downs. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. And he's hit immediately. Quick pass. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Mike, 3-6. Mike, 
And a quick throw. And he is drilled at the 17-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. It's first and 10. Ball on the 17. Slings it. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. They come out on an empty backfield. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That brings up second and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Robinson from the seven. And down he goes at the 32 yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He's on the run. Brought down around the 50-yard line. That's a team of 18 on the ball. First down. Mike five, Mike five. Five wide. And he's tackled right around midfield. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. He's tackled at the 48. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Brought down at the 25-yard line. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop their passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. That brings up second and down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They come out in a five-wide set. He's tackled after positive yardage. Intelligent, decisive play to pitch it out to the tailback on the option. He had more room to run and picked up some quality yards. Right. 
Throws it in a hurry. Tackle around the 49-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Mike 36. Mike 36. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Set up a first and goal. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. Texas A&M's got a 10-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Roger, Roger. Watch 36, 36. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here we go. He's got a touchdown. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time to check out what's going on in Norman. The Golden Hurricanes, they have no qualms about opening it up early. They do just that, going up top for the first touchdown of the game. The Golden Hurricane lead, 7-0. Reese were separated by a field goal here, 24-21. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game, and every possession is going to count from here on out. Texas A&M has a three-point lead. And now he's got room to run. Makes it to the 37. That's a good point. High five. 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 Here he goes. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Call it a game of 10 yards. First down. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 36. Game of 17 on the way. That makes it first and 10. Under pressure, they'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. From the 37-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's taken down at the 25. First down. 
Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down at the 14. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. They come out on an empty backfield. Here's an opening. That makes it second and two. As an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. They'll line it up again on third down. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. On play action, he'll scramble. Got the corner. He decides to run with it. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And he tacks on the extra point. Bryant has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Rodgers takes it from the six. Tackle at the 26. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's hit and taken down. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Fires quick, he catches another, and down he goes at about the 45. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Makes the grab past the marker. Tackle made at the 33. And he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. He's looking for six, and it's caught for the touchdown. The draw within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 74-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 31-28. He's taken down at the 39. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. 
he gets to about the 31-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. SMU will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Five wide. He's at the 20. And he's level at the 15. Well, the execution of this offense has been on display here on this drive. They know what they needed to do, and that's pick up the first down, work the clock, and finish this game off. And with that first down, they may have done it. Got some open field. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First down. So inside the five with a first and goal. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. frustrating for this offense to go backwards but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen really great game to watch both teams should be proud of their efforts in this way 31-28 Texas A&M. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.